Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to treat this kind of diseased oleander with fungus infection. And I treated with this plant, uh, I bought it for, I bought it months ago and it was dying plant. And now I am gonna show you what I did with this plant and I have new growth here and it is becoming healthy and it started blooming for me and here I have new growth from here till top and you you can see healthy leaves now and I couldn't find any videos on YouTube and I did what I can what I could do And here I have another color of oleander. It's white color. It's healthy. And I am going to show you how to feed them and what I use for that. You can see it's full of bloom now and that oleander which was sick it's blooming and it has buds here and here and everywhere new growth you can see new growth here from here and here and in the bottom you can see sick leaves Still I have these six leaves, but the top is healthy now, becoming healthy. Here are the ingredients which I used for treating my sick oleander. This is liquid copper fungicide. I spray them and this is Calmac for feeding my oleander and this is Epsom salt. One week I water my plants with Epsom salt and other week I water my plants with Calmac and now I am gonna show you how I do this I spray my oleander with copper fungicide like this every two weeks all the stem and leaves Even healthy leaves I'm spraying to prevent the disease. These oleander plants, they were small when I bought them and now you can see the difference, new growth and they're healthy. And what I do every night after sunset that I mix them with water. and they like it this is two gallon bucket and here I put two tablespoon of Calmac This week it's uh, turned to Calmac. Last week I watered them with Epsom salt 
and this week I am watering the, uh, my oleander plants with palmer. As you can see here, it says calcium, magnesium and iron. I really like this um, fertilizer. I use for my all plants, my tomatoes, my um, orchids, to my fig trees, to all of my plants and they all love this. I see if the to topsoil is hard, I lose them with my fingers, I made them soft and the water goes through well if you do this. And now I water this with Calmec. And the other plant too. 